Fred. This Mark Twain country is really something. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tom Sawyer or Becky Thatcher any moment. I'd rather see a road sign, Daphne, because we're lost. Yes, thanks to our chief navigator, Shaggy, and his brilliant shortcut. Can I help it if I can't read Greek? Greek? That's an American road map. I know, but it's all Greek to me. <laughs> that will never make it in time for the Tom Sawyer Festival. Why, don't worry. We'll find us a shortcut out of this shortcut. Uh, won't we, Scoob? <laughs> Second thought, maybe we'd better ask directions from somebody. Great idea, except there's nobody out here. Really? Well, then what was that? Oh, probably just a monster from the Big Muddy. <laughs> hey, cool it, gang. We were probably hearing things. You're right. And we still are. Well, whatever it is, it's just around the bend. Whoops! Into the line, and we're stuck. Wow! With that groovy old showboat to explore, who cares? I care. That old tub gives me the creep. Relax, Dad. It's easy to see nobody's been here in years. Well, it sounds like somebody's here now. It's probably just a gust of wind in the smokestack. Anyway, let's go aboard before the storm hits. I'll buy that. Shaggy and Scooby, this is no time to act chicken. Right, we're not acting chicken. We're, we're eating chicken. Yeah. <laughs> See? Nobody's here. <laughs> cool it, Shag. This is no laughing matter. So who's laughing? Did you? Uh -oh. huh? No, none of us did. It came from up there. Something else is coming from up there. Look. Uh-oh. We have company. And I don't think it's a welcoming committee. Watch out where we're going. I'm sorry. I thought this was a gangway, not a freeway. Who are you? This is Josie, and these are the Pussycats. Oh, wow. Hey, your group really floors me. So I notice. Oh, you're Alan. And you're Valerie. Right on. I'm Melody, I think. <laughs> With so many here, it's hard to tell. And I'm Alexandra, the real star of this group. The master? Mm -hmm. well, what are you kids doing here? Our super booking agent, Alexander, booked us for a gig on a famous showboat. This! Well, how did I know that Dixie Queen was a junkyard reject? And that it was haunted? <laughs> haunted? <laughs> the Dixie Queen is not haunted. <laughs> Who said that? I did. Captain Canopy, skipper of this craft. And this is my first mate, Johnny Briggs. Skipper, let them go if they're afraid. No, Johnny. Without their entertaining, the Dixie Queen will never make its triumphant return on the Mississippi. Honest, Captain Canopy, we we'd like to help you. Speak for yourself, sister. I'm ready to split from this worm-eaten relic right now. Come on, Alan. Let's you and I grab the next flatboat out of here. Wait! Maybe we can help. We just happen to be expert ghost-chasing mystery solvers. And I think fixing up this old barge would be a groovy idea. Kids, I think you're right. Besides, we're all stuck miles from nowhere, and if the storm hits, the Dixie Queen will be a good refuge. Ghosts or no ghosts? Uh, personally, I'll take the no ghosts. Me too. Me three. Like anybody for a 